Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, October 30th, 2022. Uh, week 203? 203, yep. Is that right? Because the cheat sheet's not set up for me. <laughs> and I can't remember from 20 seconds ago when you did it. <clears throat> so morning. we've got some sickness through the house. Julia's run through her gambit of it. Stacy's got it now. My throat's kind of froggy. Um, Lauren's been sick for over a week. So, we're all just trying to get through it. <laughs> yep. But um, on the scale front, 341 last week for me, 341 this morning. If nothing else, I'm consistent. Yeah. Last week I was 163. This morning I'm 164. I got a surprise visitor right on time, considering last month I was four weeks late. Yeah, your schedule is so weird. And now that. I'm just right on. I'm like, okay, I don't get it. Fingers are swollen. Whole body swollen, feel like crap. Well, at least now you won't be surprised midweek standing at work and whoa, what's going on? This is true. So, hey, you can't count I'd anything rather... as normal <laughs> these days with you. No, no, I'd rather be done with it, but that's okay. Yeah, apparently, my body's not saying it's time to be done yet. Well, was kind of hoping that we would get in a little bit of time for making some fat head crusts and stuff, and I haven't even seen Stacy. We run. Yesterday, you might as well have just slapped an Uber sticker on my car because all I did from 9.30 in the morning till 10 o'clock at night was run, drop, come home, unload, run, drop, and then I even had to run up to Costco to bring Stacy some tea, okay. but I also needed stuff, so I wanted to get the ground beef for meatballs, and I've got all that now, so I'm going to do that today. I tried to make like a triple trip out of it instead of just bringing you tea because your throat was hurting. Mm -hmm. I got the ground beef, and I got a bunch of other things that we needed. So, you know, that was a good thing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so today my day will be not driving all around. It's my one day off of driving. And uh, I'll make up some meatballs. So it'll be wonderful. I'm excited for the meatballs. I'm excited for the meatballs, too. I like grabbing just a little Ziploc out of the freezer of meatballs. And Very nice and convenient. Putting some brails with it or something, or sometimes just even a sprinkle of cheese on top, Parmesan mm -hmm. cheese or mozzarella cheese. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, very nice. I think nice. I kind of set this up a little weird today, but oh well. He's I feel like I'm having to lean in to get into the shop, but that's okay. Well, you did this because you're, re you're reclined and... Yeah, I'm all reclined and relaxed. relaxed and now you're feeling like, oh, I got to get back up there and get into the picture. <sighs> oh well, <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. So, so Stacy's, um, you know, she's testing negative for COVID and everything, but she's just got herself a little, what do you call this, a fall cold? A virus that's going around. Yeah, a little cold. Yeah. Throat and Julia had it. I'm pretty sure I'm getting it because I feel like I've got something stuck in my throat and I'm swallowing hard. So, I even made a cup of coffee this morning because I was trying to like break that, break that throat up. Yeah. So far, no luck. I feel like I have a frog in my throat. But, yeah. I mean, I feel okay. Yeah, you know, beyond. Beyond this what area. it sounds like. Yeah. But you're doing okay, though? I, you know, I feel okay. You slept well. well. You slept really good last night. I was tired. Yeah. It's exhausting. And you've been taking your OSHA route and mm -hmm. um, your immunity supplementation, which is like CD, elderberry, all kinds of quercetin, all kinds of things in there. Yeah. So yeah, she's doing her best and trying to rest, and you did good resting. Yeah. Even last night, we didn't even. By the time we both got in and sat down, it was like ten o'clock, and within forty-five minutes, you know, it was making you get up and go to bed. Uh, so that's a good thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's a good thing. I haven't been able to get down on the bike as much as I'd like to. It just seems like. I don't know. Every time I turn around, I'm getting a text to run somewhere or to get something or to pick the, this person up or to drop this person off. Even Julia on her day off, which is yesterday, started at 9, 30, 10 in the morning and didn't get done till 10 at night. And then in between, I was trying to get all these other little trips run and then, yeah. of course, bringing you some tea. You know, just I, I blinked. I even made food and I was making the food that was in the oven and I was like excited about having it and then Stacy's like, please bring me tea right now and then so I just turned the oven off and put it on top of the oven and went to go bring her tea and then by the time I got home and stuck it back in it was all rubber and I was like, I'm not eating this chicken. So just I don't know. 
Days are full. I appreciate the tea. Oh, I know you did. Mm -hmm. That's why I brought it to you. I'm going to go make some nap before I go to work. And then I made a point to say, hey, look, I'm going to get the stuff to make meatballs and stuff. So I'm going to do that today. I got to use our food processor for the first time. Mm -hmm. I was making some, um, like, garlic, soy, butter kind of stuff to put on chicken and things. Just a little different taste. Similar to, like, Betty Hanna's yeah. garlic butter. So I was using the food processor. and mm -hmm. It's kind of neat. It's kind of fun. And I bought me myself a new slap chopper. You know what the slap choppers are? Like, you're going to love my nuts. I want that one because I like the commercial. But I bought the Cuisinart one off of Amazon. It's just a big kid. Yeah, I bought the Cuisinart one so I can uh, cut up some onion and some um, carrots and things like that. And just really, really dice the heck out of them. Because if I try to do this with my hands, I'm going to cut myself. I don't want to hurt myself. Don't do that. I know my limits. And the slap chopper is great for that. So I just go slap, 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 slap. Yes, Last yeah. one I got a little excited with and I busted it, slapping it. But I think it had also gone, gone through the dishwasher too many times and it was and it was uh, plastic and, you know, it just got weak. And then the one day I slapped it and it just kind of fell apart in my hand. You know, it's too aggressive. I, I think I was slapping it a little too much. <laughs> yeah. But it was fun though until, I mean, yeah, that thing lasted me over 10 years. I mean, can't okay. get, it was worth Every bit of the 20 bucks has been on it, you know. So I just got the Cuisinart one. And this one's actually stainless steel. The, the body of it, the part that cracked on the other one was plastic. So we'll see if it lasts. <laughs> if it doesn't, I'll just stick it in a bag and send it back to Amazon. They're going to they're gonna ban me because I buy stuff. And then it's, you know, half the stuff comes cheap China crap. And then it comes and then it's like, oh, this doesn't work like I expected it to or mm -hmm. wanted it to. So, you know, a lot of times things like that end up being in the Amazon returns. Like, no, that doesn't do what it said it was going to do. So, I'm on their radar. So but I think I buy enough junk that they just say, well, it's okay because he buys a lot of junk <laughs> anyway. Goodness. I'm always shopping on Amazon for us, for you. Because it's like the fast, easy way to get something because... Without having to drive. And, and then you go like three or four stores looking for one particular thing. Like I was looking for a rice strainer, not just a regular strainer. And all the regular strainers have the bigger holes and the rice falls through it. And sure enough, seven bucks on Amazon. It's right there in front of you. And I'd already wasted time looking for it. Can't find it. You know, you go to Bed Bath & Beyond, it's $30 for a little mesh strainer. I'm like, no, I'm not spending $30 on this. No, no. Because Amazon has it for like seven bucks. So, oh well. Yeah, I digress. I, I wouldn't say it's an addiction, but when you need stuff and you go start looking for it and you can't find it, that's where I find it. You're right. That's all. Well, I'm very much looking forward to the meatballs. Yeah. Sorry I haven't done my part with the fat heads. I did, I hope, get, the, I did get the ingredients for it. I hope you can taste it. Me too. I think I'll be okay. Yeah. I don't burn my tongue. On tea. Put an ice cube in it. That's what I do for you. Yeah. I always put one ice cube. I noticed you left the tea bags in the in Contigo. Yes. That's gross. Don't do that because then they'll open and then they'll be like swallowing little yes, grit. Yes, I know. Yeah. Just let it steep for like 10, 15 minutes and then just take them out and toss them. I will do that. No problem. I'm already washing the one that you used yesterday. Just grab a new one and do a new one. Sounds like a good plan. Today. All right, guys. Well. I guess I'm going to make some meatballs for us this week. Mm -hmm. And uh, Stacy's going to hopefully get better. And I'm hopefully going to not get it as bad. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we'll catch up with you next week. Sounds good. We'll see All you guys. Right. Bye. Bye.